<laughs> Hello, welcome to this week's issue of Swedish Startup Sessions. Uh, today with Anna Pensa from hotdatingstartupjaodu.com. This is Sweden. You ain't packing gas, you ain't hard, you ain't living in the garage. This is Sweden. Fly overseas, clear use a G. Please believe this ain't Sweden. Witness a massacre in Middle East to Africa. Bet you be thanking God. This is Sweden. Stop lying to all you ain't struggling at all. This is Sweden. You ain't packing gas, you ain't hard, you ain't living in the garage. This is Sweden. Fly overseas, clear use a G. Please believe. This ain't Sweden Witness a massacre In Middle East to Africa Bet you be thanking God This, this is the Swedish Startup Sessions Hi, welcome back to Swedish Startup Session I'm here with Anna Pensa, CEO of Jaodu.com Yes Or so. is that how I should produce, pronounce uh, it in well, sort of a uh, Swedish way? Yeah, uh, usually we say Jaodu.com yeah. Uh, but uh, I guess we'll see when we go abroad. Uh, so it sounds thinking. a bit bit uh, Chinese, actually, like oh, really? Baidu. You yes. Know? Yeah. Cool. So, so uh, tell me a little about yourself. What's what's your background? Uh, my background is in uh, uh, social media mainly. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been working with uh, media analysis and uh, social media analysis and monitoring mm -hmm. for about two three years. Yeah. Uh, I've been running my own company called Giges Excite. Uh huh. Uh, that was an agency for analyzing analyzing brands uh, in social media. Yeah. So I started. I was joined. I joined the team of Jagudu in uh, March this year. Mm -hmm. uh, and my job as the CEO has been to uh, build the marketing team and basically take the product to a launch ready state. Uh huh. Okay. So that's what I've been doing now. And and how months. how far had the t team uh, come with the idea when when. Um when you stepped in? The idea was really really mature and, yeah. and the technical platform and the product was quite far gone as well. Mm -hmm. uh, they started developing it in August uh -huh. 2010 so uh, we put some developing yeah. uh, hours into, yeah. into Jagadu. So, so what does it do? What, what is the service doing? Uh, Jagadu.com is a social dating network. Uh -huh. uh, it's uh, really a mix of uh, the, the most popular and most loved social platforms like Facebook and Twitter uh, put into a dating, um, uh, a dating service. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we do is we offer an online dating service okay. uh, for a smart generation of love, for, for a social generation uh, and the online generation. But isn't there, um, I have to admit, I'm probably the only Swede uh, under 55 who haven't used a <laughs> dating service. Probably, yeah. probably, yeah, there are. Um, and and uh, so so how does it really uh, compare to... To the other ones, really. I mean, because it's a What's quite... disruptive. Yeah, it's yeah. quite quite crowded space. It is a crowded market. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what we see in the market is that the, the really big giants are, are quite traditional. Mm -hmm. uh, they still use the mailing function, for example. Yeah. Uh, they're not that good at chat and real-time interaction. Uh, and then you have a really large section doing uh, like scientific matchmaking, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, and we don't really believe in those types of sites mm -hmm. and those types of services because we think that people uh, in their really good and social state yeah. uh, know who they want to meet mm -hmm. from personal chemistry, from yeah. being social with that person uh, and being put in a uh, in an environment mm. that's really natural yeah. and laid back. Yeah. Uh, and I think that that's what Twitter and Facebook really bring out to people. Uh, so we try to, to do that instead of doing scientific matchmaking yeah. or, or uh, just Pseudo giving people... scientific I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Very pseudo scientific. <laughs> At many times. There's actually one company called eHarmony, which is probably a brand that you know yeah, about. Yeah, I heard about they it. They have a lab in, uh, in California. Okay. And they have PhD uh, uh, laboratory guys who actually do their formulas. So it's quite advanced sometimes, yeah. but in the end, you know, what, what actually works? What has been working the last 3,000, 4,000 years? Yeah. I mean, attraction between people isn't something new. Yeah. And social uh, environments aren't new. Uh, as well. Mm. It's just that when we put them online, you can do so much more. Yeah. Uh, I, I read a lot about the, the really 
uh, new ones when you where, who has exploded like Grinder, for instance, where you have exactly. the, the location based. Exactly. Like if I put in a, a mm. well, it doesn't really concern you or me, but mm. <laughs> Grinder in particular, since it's a, for for homosexual men. Mm -hmm. But uh, just this idea that you put in a profile and you can mm. if if a person that you're compatible with are in the yeah. same room in or the in the same, same location. Or somewhere yeah. in yes, uh, we work a lot with mobility because yeah. that's the way it works in real life as well, or yeah. away from keyboard. Uh, if you go into a nightclub or a cafe, you start looking around you and you, you start to see if there's someone you, mm. you're into or someone that you click with. Uh, it's the same thing with mobility. It's really, really important to, to look at the mobile web, uh, which is obviously increasing loads. Yeah. Uh, and really take your product and go with that development um, towards that direction. So, so we have the, the iPhone app from day one. Yeah. Uh, it was released in August. Uh, the Android app is coming in a few weeks uh, and we're already developing for the iPads and um, those kind mm. of devices. Yeah. Uh, and it's uh, really about catching a behavior, like yeah. you say. Like going with your customer where he or she wants to go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Grindr is um, one of the first ones who have been really, really successful. Yeah. Uh, in, in that sense. Mm. And there's lots of things that you can do with uh, mobile devices, smartphones, mm. that you can't do with a site. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, so it's really, really important. I'm saying this before as well, like NFC technology, for yeah. example. I mean, it's both the user experience is going to be so much more fun if you can do things with that kind of technique. Yeah. And, uh, so, so does. Uh, that do we hear up in the north with a, you know quite few people mm -hmm. and long distances, distances yes. uh, do we behave in in other ways when it comes to dating than perhaps southern Europe because I know you you want to do not really I mean obviously we do this uh, research uh, yeah. every day and we try to be become more and more intelligent mm. in terms of how people behave and, and what different societies mm. look like but I mean the Swedish uh, market is really really uh, good in that way that we're really really developed and far uh, reached uh, yeah. online wise yeah. uh, so we're really really good at using social networks we all have really good broadband connections mm -hmm. and all that uh, so I think that we are quite typical yeah. for dating market mm. we're quite brave as well I mean we're not that shy mm. we're not American but we're still you know uh, happy to use and try new services yeah, yeah. Um, so, so um, how many are working with your team right now? Uh, the team consists of uh, about five people on the marketing team, yeah. uh, and that's uh, we're really online focused. We have one guy uh, doing online marketing. He's the mm. board media mm. expert, uh, and then we have a, a social media manager, a content manager, mm. uh, a member staff. Uh, sorry, a member uh, manager. Yeah. Uh, taking care of all the members mm, that we have mm. and developing the site so that it's going to be fun mm. to be at. Uh, and then we have me, who I'm, I'm a really marketing um, focused yeah, CEO yeah. and PR. Yeah. Marketing. So, so uh, I mean, I understand that the, the mobile side is, is quite disruptive Very, and, and yeah. the, the chats and so on. But isn't that features that are quite simple for the big already existing companies to, to, to do? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there's other things that we need to do to be disruptive mm, and to yeah, stand out. Yeah. Uh, for example, we have chosen to put a lot of effort into video mm. uh, to, to be more social, to yeah. be able to claim that yeah. position. Uh, and that's something that we're quite, not alone, but yeah. the way we're doing it is quite unique. Yeah. Uh, for example, we have the video chat, which mm. means that you can call someone. We have our own Skype inside okay. uh, of Jagadu. Yeah. Uh, and then we have something called social date sessions, mm. which is uh, a digital speed dating, yeah. really, event-based. Uh -huh. uh, so we're trying to, to go towards that direction yeah. as well. And I mean, obviously in the technical roadmap, there's lots of functions and features coming up mm. uh, that uh, are going to make us even more unique. Yeah. Uh, and how, how do you stop? stop abuse for instance for being a chat roulette or yes, like I get all these question. really strange uh, yeah. direct messages on Skype from Russian ladies. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. You're the target group. Yep, probably. Uh, yes, uh, that's a really big issue for us obviously, yeah. security and, and, and safety and like well-being for the community. Uh, it's uh, 
you need to work with it two ways. You mm -hmm. need to have technical solutions yeah. to actually catch these kind of spammers, mm -hmm. the, the robots mm -hmm. and the people mm -hmm. also yeah. who are actually in there spamming and, and doing bad stuff. Uh, and we have uh, we're developing some techniques mm. to to handle pictures, for mm. example, uh, and to to control the the screenshots uh, on the social date sessions yeah. so that we don't get any uh, dodgy people mm. uh, on those. Uh, but then we also try to be really present on the site, yeah. and that's where our like social nature in this yeah. company and this startup really comes forward. Mm. Uh, we're really active on the site. We're really present on the site. Yeah. Uh, there's always someone online. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to answer everything. We always check the news feed. Yeah. Uh, take people away if they have really bad names or pictures or mm -hmm. really uh, not good discussions with other people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and try to be really strict and, mm -hmm. and be really open with that. We're mm -hmm. all here to, to really contribute to, to a good service and, mm -hmm. and Jagadu is supposed to be a really nice and social mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. In in many online uh, services, there is uh, quite a lot of difference between men and women, men and Espe women yes. especially mm. when it comes yeah. to dating and so. On. Absolutely, Do you yeah. have the same here. Uh, we have a really good uh, balance now, yeah. uh, but it's something that we always have to stay on top of, mm. uh, marketing wise. Yeah. So we have to market ourselves towards women a bit more because mm. the men comes where the girls are. Uh, really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, it's definitely something that you have to keep a check on. Uh, so so how are you founded? Uh, do, do you have investors or bootstrapping? Uh, or? We have private investors yeah. who have been investing in the company, yeah. and it's also a few of the owners of the company. Yeah, uh, from day one. So so that's how we do it now. Mm. And then, uh, I mean, going. Uh, a year forward now, it's going to look a bit different mm. because we're taking everything abroad uh, yeah. in 2012. Yeah, because it sounds like a quite if you've been the team been working since mm. all well more mm. or less the more than team, more yeah. than a half, one year now mm. full time it sounds like quite a large mm. investment to start with. It is a large yeah. investment. There's a lot of people involved that really believe in the product mm. and have been willing to to invest the money necessary. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a it's a, a, a big startup in some senses, mm -hmm. but it's still a startup yeah, really. Yeah. Do you have any s Swedish competitors that are doing what you are doing when it comes to international expansion? Well, uh, a few in different ways, mm -hmm. uh, probably. I mean, the companies that are pure Swedish, yeah. like Mötesplatsen, for example, yeah. those. Uh, we don't really look at them when we when we when we look at the uh, markets abroad that we're yeah. going to enter. Yeah. Uh, we look at other uh, companies. Yeah. So so it's, it differs very much mm. depending on what market mm. you go into. Is there any special markets you want to expand into, or is just a general global push? Or no, take? we have a, 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 a strategy for that, which is. Uh, Obviously, an internal strategy. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, but there are a few markets that are already singled out and mm. pinpointed mm. Uh, for the first step. Yeah. Uh, and then, I mean, you always have to, as an entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneurial company mm. and a startup, you always have to be prepared to take a new direction. Yeah. Uh, and that goes for for everything, really. Mm. Mm. Uh, especially, I mean, now we're testing the product as well. We're looking at okay, what do people actually like? Mm. Uh, do they love the mobile phone app mm -hmm. uh, and don't really care about the site? Okay, yeah. so what market is really good on the mobile side? Yeah, yeah. Like that, you have to always stay on top of the of the game. And and language always becomes a, a mm -hmm. issue when when we do uh, yes. international expansion. Should mm -hmm. we start with like you know Swedish and then attack on English, mm -hmm. or start mm -hmm. in English and attack on Swedish, yeah. or perhaps don't have Swedish at all, they go yeah, on, yeah. on other world languages, exactly. so how's, how's your thinking around that? Uh, we actually did it this way, we started with both Swedish and English, yeah. just like that, mm. because we didn't want to close any doors mm. really, mm. and in English is quite, you know, a lot of markets can actually yeah. use it. Uh, but as soon as you go into thoughts of, for example, France or, or mm. Italy, uh, and markets like that, um, it's even more important, I think. Yeah. I think it's a Swedish thing as well to, to be like, okay, well, English is fine for me. Yeah. I use a site in English, I use Facebook in mm. English, uh, but I don't think they do in France and in no. Italy. So, <laughs> uh, but really, it's, yeah, you, we will take that when we go to, into yeah. those markets. Yeah. And we are preparing for that as yeah. we speak. Yeah. 
um, how do you how do you think about uh, around support? Because I mean that means you mm -hmm. have to beef up support and site supervision quite lo a lot yeah. in those languages, native languages. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, we need to bring in people if if it's uh, uh, on place here in in, in Stockholm yeah. or if it's uh, on those markets. Uh, is still to be decided, mm -hmm. but uh, we really need to have actual people yeah. on the site because yeah. that's our most important function right now. Mm -hmm. That's how we find uh, abusers, for example. That's how we make it more fun and social yeah. for people. Uh, we want to be a company who stands out uh, in terms of that as well. Yeah. Uh, I want everyone to know that I'm the CEO of yeah. Jagadu. Mm -hmm. I want people on the site to know that Therese, she works here and she's that social media, ma mm -hmm. media manager. Uh, on this uh, Stefan and he's the guy behind the online marketing mm -hmm. and he's also chatting with me on the site. Mm -hmm. I have members now asking me to to test the Android app yeah. uh, and I'm really you know keeping in touch yeah. with all the yeah. members. So you get a lot of friends, which I yeah. think is something that we want to take to the other markets as well. Yeah. I mean, and I, I think that that's quite a, quite an unusual approach because when, so when, so. when we start looking at other mm -hmm. social networks, even like the big ones, I mean, you can hardly even exactly. come in contact with exactly. them when there's something really important. I don't important know how Facebook done. got away with it, yeah. but, but somehow they have you know managed to not be that present. Yeah. Which is really weird when you think of it because I think that you have so much to gain mm. uh, from from being in the middle of it. Yeah. And it's interesting because MySpace did that. You remember that yeah, the, yeah. the CEO? Mm -hmm. He was always the like mm -hmm. the first friend people got when exactly. they, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> start, started using you the got service. The email from him and everything. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so, so uh, you said your goals are going international. You have other interesting goals as well when it comes to perhaps culture or other things than revenue purely. Uh, yes, we want to break a world record. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to be the largest social dating network mm -hmm. uh, globally. Then uh, I, I guess you have to go to China or India or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. to reach that goal, yes. Uh, but we also want to, to bring something new into the industry. We want to take online dating to the next level. Yeah. We want to be the leader in the third generation yeah. of dating sites. Yeah. Uh, so it's all those like personal, personal or uh, the Jagadu vision goals. Yeah. Are really really important for us and that's how we try to, to uh, structure the company and the strategies but I mean the money making is always the the biggest part of course mm -hmm. uh, but it's a lot nicer to make money on something that's actually really substantial yeah, and likable yeah, yeah, than yeah, build yeah. a really nice and new yeah. brand that people will remember. I would say that that your goal is quite un-Swedish because a lot of Swedes have a problem saying that we're going to you know, conquer the world. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then, uh, Maybe I'm not that Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. Um, but a lot of the people that are connected to the company are uh, working on global levels yeah. in some senses. And they yeah. have expanded abroad before and yeah. they know this stuff. So, mm. so uh, that's probably where the culture comes from as well. Yeah. You think that we can really uh, make online, local online companies anymore? Uh, unless you're perhaps tied to a big, you know, a Swedish newspaper or anything like that. But but mm. more pure standalone services like you know, do you think it's worthwhile? Uh, I don't know actually. Mm. Uh, I think that's a really really hard question. Mm. Uh, I think it depends on the market mm. that you're on. Uh, I think it depends on the product as well. Uh, so so it's a tough question. I mean. For a company like Jagadu, uh, I think that offices could be quite, you know, standalone in one sense. Mm. I mean, it wouldn't really be a problem, I think. Mm. Uh, but at the same time, we want to really build a global brand yeah. and yeah. A, a feeling around Jagadu mm. that's the same feeling as Spotify, uh, the same feeling as Facebook. Yeah. You know, it's something that everyone knows of, yeah. and it's not yeah. geographically yeah. bound. Yeah. And uh, what's your 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 short term goal? Is that to earn money and and you know beef up revenue, or is it to get as many users as possible? Uh, well, that's uh, quite different goals. Different, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right now, it's it's the user mm -hmm. side that we're focusing on. Mm -hmm. We want to get a lot of users. We want to know what they love about our product, uh, and then we want to to of course uh, start to to. Uh, 
charge for Jagadu. Mm. Uh, and it's free, right it's free right now, or it's free right now through campaigns. Yeah. But we're we're starting to put on the premium service. Yeah. Uh, quite soon. Mm. So so uh, membership fees will be the big uh, revenue. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Will you, you have uh, advertising as well? Or? Uh, it's not in the pipeline, no. uh, but uh, of course you have to look at all uh, aspects mm. of, of the business mm. as we go along. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Um, so what, what's your, the, the most important lesson you have learned um, mm. through, through uh, having this or running this startup? I mean it's only been since March. But yes, yeah. but so much has happened, my <laughs> yeah. gosh. Uh, well, uh, I think a really good lesson and uh, something for me uh, as well, mm. personally, uh, is that you have to be really fast moving mm -hmm. uh, and you have to be uh, brave enough yeah. to let uh, an idea go mm. quite quickly yeah. uh, uh, for the benefit of another one. Yeah. That's Kill your darlings. Uh, yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. That's a good expression, actually. Uh, definitely. And mm. I think that's uh, you have the benefit of being able to do that in a startup. Mm. I think it's really hard to do that in a larger mm. company. It's a lot of processes just to get to yes. the decisions and exactly. even more to kill them. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm. And uh, I mean, it's when you're this small mm. and when, when everyone has the same goal that you can really build a culture mm. of moving uh, in the same direction for mm. everyone uh, attached to mm. the company. You think internal culture is important? Very. Yeah. I think it's, uh, I mean, that's uh, one of the guys who I've been working with here, my COO. Mm. That's one of his, uh, his uh, uh, really special areas, mm -hmm. like bi building teams and building culture. Mm. Uh, and I think that's a really big part of the company's success. Why? Uh, because uh, it, uh, uh, it, it's, it's a measure of, or it's... Uh, it results in uh, people doing a good job mm, mm. Uh, and the right job. Yeah. Because sometimes people can sit, I think, uh, and do a really good job, mm. but they're not doing the right thing. No. So it doesn't really matter in mm, the end. Mm. And I think that's really, really dangerous to, to, to go towards that direction. Mm. And I think if you have a good culture, if you have goals uh, that are uh, everyone's like main baby, yeah. uh, I think that's going to help a lot, and you're going to be able to move quicker. Mm. Do you have any advice for for other um, entrepreneurs starting out? Mm, yeah, I probably do. Lots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, I think that you have to be prepared of uh, entrepreneurship. I think is really unglamorous. Mm. Uh, but when a few months has passed and you start to look around you, you see that, okay, so we have quite a few things established here. Yeah. And there's quite a lot of things in place and yeah. I have actually sold this and I yeah. have, you know, invoiced that. And you yeah. start to see that it's a company forming around you. Uh, so, so be patient. Mm. Uh, a startup is always like this. Mm. Uh, and try to stay focused, mm. focus, focus, focus. Mm. I think it's the most important thing. Mm. And what do you think that big companies can learn from you? Um. Uh, big companies, uh, I think that they can learn uh, uh, how to be more flexible, mm. uh, more fast moving. Uh, and also, especially if they would look at Jagadu, I think that we're really good at, uh, or want to be really good mm. at, uh, using and, uh, how do you say, yeah, maybe using mm. using the the technology online mm. yeah. uh, that's available uh, for you to actually make more money and do do a better job. Yeah. Uh, measuring everything real time, mm. uh, being flexible in your advertising campaigns, for example, mm. rotating the banners if they don't give anything in one place. Mm. Uh, I think all of those things. Uh, I mean, skip the 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 monthly uh, processes yeah. and and. Uh, you can do this every day. You mm -hmm. can you can follow up and measure and, and keep keep uh, a track every day. Yeah, I actually told some some um, um, 
CEOs of very big uh, yeah. companies that, but real-time measuring. Okay. And they looked like they me, like I was crazy. Yeah. And was like, uh, exactly how they mean. <laughs> well, more like, you know, we can't do it. Uh, they, they didn't get, have the organization no, to do it properly. Uh, they could get like, you know, sale revenue, yeah. yeah uh, okay. And perhaps production, but not what people think mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of, especially from the online world, mm -hmm. which is really easy exactly. to mes yeah. measure, but they don't get I it. I think that's maybe uh, an advantage that we yeah. have as a startup. We yeah. can actually build that structure and routine into the business yeah. from day one. Mm. Uh, we don't have a, a large uh, trunk mm. or a baggage mm. with uh, with bad processes. Yeah. I mean, there's lots of things for us to do better as well. And I mean, God knows that we don't do everything right every day, but uh, we still have a really big chance to twist it and tweak it. What was your general view of uh, starting a startup in Sweden? Uh, well, I have uh, hmm, my general view, and I mean, I'm not that experience mm. but I have been starting my own company before mm. this and now I'm in this process uh, so I think it's uh, I think it's quite easy mm. I mean if you have a good it depends on what kind of startup you yeah. are I mean there's Definitely. some people that want to go to Almi and get the education mm. for example and they don't know how to open the bank mm. accounts and then there's some people who just like do that and then they uh, keep going yeah. on their sales so it's really it depends on what yeah. kind of person you are I mm. think that's more important uh, and where you are in your experience level, uh, but I mean, generally, I think it's a quite good climate mm. for startups. Did did uh, the investors for this company have any ideas of starting it somewhere else? Uh, no, not really. And I mean, Sweden is a good first market for mm. Jagadu because online dating is quite uh, far stretched yeah. uh, and well used, uh, and we have a really good technical uh, level of knowledge in yeah. Sweden so so the tech team has been really uh, I mean not easy to find the best yeah. people but we have found them mm. and then uh, uh, all the people that are connected to it just now live in Sweden mm. so I mean it was uh, good in many senses yeah. so thank you very much do you have any final words anything you want to comment or well uh, uh, register on Jagadu yeah. <laughs> if you're single yeah. uh, well no uh, I think I talked a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you.